So question number one, here we have to solve the inequality. Uh, as you can see, we have modulus on both sides, and here we have x also on both sides. So when this happens, we can just square both sides. Or if you want to, you can always draw graphs and find those values accordingly. So in this case, square, you will have 4 here. 2 squares 4, x minus 3 square, more than 3x plus 1 square. Simplify. 4 is 4, this will be x squared minus 6x plus 9, more than 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. Here we go. Now expand this brackets as well because it will make your life easy. That will be 24x plus 36, more than 9x squared plus this one plus 1. Now, obviously let's, let's send everything to one side, you will have what? 4 minus 9 will be minus 5x square minus 24 minus this will be minus 30 plus 36 minus 1 will be plus 35 more than this one. Obviously, I don't like to work with negative values. We can just switch sides, send this over the other side. You will have 5x square plus 30x minus 35 and that will be this one now. Now, we have to find the critical values of x for this equation. So basically take the same equation, right? And then just equate that to, to 0. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we don't need to have equal sign. Why? Because you can see, for any values of x, you will not be equal, right? We, we won't have that equal thing going on over here. It will not be possible. So here we have this, factorize. 5x squared is 5x times x. Here we have 35. To have 30, we have to break it down. 35 is, is what? 7 times 5. So 7 times 5. Plus 30 will be plus 35 minus 5. So x will have to be the value of 1. x will have to be minus 7. Again, if you don't know how to factorize, you can always use your formula to find that value. Now, number line, here we go. This is 0. Minus 7 happens before 1. will be here, and this is 1. Now, when you observe, this is positive, so the shape will have to have a minimum shape, right? Something like this. Now, the question is asking for below. Below will be between those two. So, x will have to be between value of minus 7 and 1 for this to be possible. Now, of course, for A-level math, I will always recommend checking the values. I say choose one value from here, one from here to see if it is good or not, but usually it should not be good. So this will be the only uh, range or domain for x for this to work. But always double check your values by choosing one value from here, for example. I can choose minus 8 to check, plug this in and see if it's true or not. I can choose uh, 2 and check if this works or not, just to make sure, right, if everything is okay or not. That is your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to solve this equation um, one by one. Solving means finding the unknown. Here we have x as the unknown. So giving you answer to 3SF in the end. So one by one, here we have this, this. So first we can send the power over here. Right, you will have ln of 1 plus x squared. Send this over here, become minus ln of x squared. Is equal to 1. Now we have ln, we can combine them together. You will have this one. And we're going to have this, because we have minus, we can divide by the value inside. Now, as you guys know, ln is what? Ln is log to the base of e, right? Log to the base of e. Now, to find the value inside, this value right here, I have to send this one over here. So, you will have what? You will have 1 plus this one over this, have to be exponential 1. Okay? Now, we can try to uh, simplify by cross-multiplying, or we can simplify over here as well. For example, I can say, well, what is this? What is that? It is 1 over this one plus 1, right? So you will have 1 over this one, and here you will have exponential 1. I will send this over here. So this one is plus 1, send this over here, we go minus 1. Okay? So again, I just have to cross multiply. You will have x on top. And here you have this one. So x will have to be the square root of this value. Here you go. So we have exponential minus 1. 1 divided by answer. Root of that will be 
0 0.763. Of course, it will provide the positive value because ln cannot take negative values. Now again, if, okay, maybe, maybe this confuses you. Let me continue here how we can solve this, right? So I have 1 plus x squared over x squared is equal to exponential this one. Cross multiply, you will have what you will have. Send this over here, you will have 1 plus x squared is x squared exponential. Now, send all the x to one side. You will say, well, I can send this over here, you will have x squared exponential minus x squared is equal to 1. So simplify, factorize, you will have this is 1. So you will say, well, x squared finally will be 1 over exponential 1. So same thing in the end will be plus 1 over this one. So same way, same thing, same stuff, but different ways of doing that as well. You have your same value of x, which is going to be 0 0.63 correct to 3SF. And that is your question number two. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have to solve the equation um, and finding the values of theta between 0 and 360. So first thing we have obviously to, to break down this one, right? So what is cos of theta plus 60? It is cos of theta cos of 60 minus sine of theta and sine of 60. Now we should know these values exactly. It's pretty easy. This is half. This is root 3 over 2. This will be half will be cos of theta over 2 minus uh, this one is root 3 sine of theta over 2. Combine them, you will have, because they're the same base, you can combine them together, you will have cos of theta minus root 3 sine of theta. Now place them back in the same equation. Here we have cos of theta minus, sorry, root 3 sine of theta over the value of 2 is equal to 2 sine of theta. Cross multiply, send this over here. You will have what? You will have cos theta minus root 3 sine theta. That should be 4 sine theta. Right. Now I can send this one over here. Why not? You will have cos theta. That will be. Here it will become plus, right? You have, you have 4 plus root 3 sine theta for the factorization. Now whenever you have cos and sine in the same equation, we divide by cos everywhere. Why? You will see why. So you will have 1 is equal to 4 plus root 3 sine divided by cos will be tan theta. So finally, finally, we're able to show, well, tan theta is equal to 1 divided by 4 plus this, which is equal to what? 0 0.174.45. So again, theta is positive. It will be in this one and this one. This is this, and this is 180 plus theta. Now in this case, obviously, we can solve directly because it is positive. So theta have to be tan inverse of 0 0.1745. That will be 9.896 and plus 180. That should be 189.896. But of course, you'll provide your answer to one decimal place for angles. So this will be 9.9. And 189.9. These two values of theta for angles between this domain. And this is your question number three. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Or otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck. And thank you for watching.